I am Dr. Ashwin Yen, Ashwin Nasimu Prasad. I am an orthopedic surgeon working with uh, Astra Clinics Dubai. Right now I am uh, located at uh, Astra Clinic in uh, Mutina Street there. So today I will be discussing you something about the commonest injury in the orthopedic clinic or an emergency department that is called an ankle sprain or any ankle injury. So any today's day-to-day uh, -day activities or a busy lifestyle and an active involvement in everybody in all the sports. So the ankle injuries has become one of the commonest injury which presents to the emergency department and also to the orthopedic clinic. So in order to me explain about the ankle injury, let me, I want to tell you something basics about the ankle joint. So here I have a model of the ankle joint. So it is a type of hinge joint, the same way as you have it in the doors, which are called hinges. So it is a, the joint has structures around it itself which gives protection to the joint and also helps in stability and flexibility. Among them, the one important structure is the ligaments. So you can see the brown structures around the ankle. So these are called the ligaments. So coming to what are the ligaments? Ligaments are the structures which connect one bone to other bone. So it is as simple as it is. So an ankle sprain is one in which any of these ligaments get injured. So to coming to the ligaments, there are some ligaments in the front, some ligaments in the back, some ligaments on the side, and some ligaments on the inner side of the ankle. Among them, these all these joint ligaments provide stability to the joint. The commonly injured ligaments are the, the inner ones and the outer ones. So, so positions. The ankle joint has a wide range of flexibility, which has a principally has an upward motion, a downward motion, an inward motion, and an outward motion. So any of these joint, any of these positions in an abnormal conditions can cause stretch or a tear in the ligaments, which is known as ankle sprain. So the ankle sprain is nothing but a stretch or a tear in one of these ligaments, which are situated around the ankle joint. So there is a vulnerable position for the ankle joint. When you take the ankle joint as such, so this position, when your toes are on the foot, or of the foot is on the floor, and the heel is up. So this position is a vulnerable position. So any abnormal movement occurring in this position will cause a stretch on the ligaments. For example, the foot is turned inwards. So when the foot is turned inwards, the stretch is on the outer side of the ankle. So these ligaments are more prone to get injured. So coming to the causes of the ankle sprain. So the most common cause is a twist in the foot or a twist in the ankle. So this happens while walking on an uneven surface or rolling down from stairs or a cutting sporting activities which includes a lot of twisting, rolling, causing an ankle injury. So how does the patient usually present to us? The patients usually present to us with a swelling in the ankle, a swelling in the ankle and foot and also some bruises or minor injuries to the foot. The first and foremost thing before you come to us is to give rest to the joint. Wherever an ankle injury has happened, just see that you provide rest to the joint. How do we do that? There is something called a RICE guidelines, which is called R I C E. The simple RICE guidelines. This guidelines is provided by Association of Ankle Surgeons of the World. The simple mnemonic tells you R R is rest to the joint. How do you provide rest? Anywhere, anytime. Just provide some support to the ankle joint so that the joint is under rest. The second word is I. I is ice. You can take any ice pack or any ice cubes, just wrap it in a cloth and just apply it on the foot and the ankle. This mainly helps to reduce the pain and also to reduce the swelling. The third is compressions. Do give, give, put some bandage, whatever the bandage available with you as an emergency, you can apply com compression bandage. The next thing is elevation of the limb. The limb should not be lying down, it should be lifted up and at the level of the waist. So this is the simple emergency protocol like we, we can practice wherever we have met with an injury. So coming to the grades of the ankle sprain. Ankle sprain can be mild, moderate or severe. We call it grade 1, grade 2 or grade 3. In the mild ankle sprain, that is a grade 1, there is only a stretching. The ligaments is just stretched. It's not completely torn, it is just stretched. So in grade 2, there is partial, partial tear of any of these ligaments. And in Severe variety, the ligaments are completely torn. In a severe variety, there might be an instability at the ankle joint. So, depending on the severity of the injury, the treatment is based. So, whenever the patient comes to us with the emergency department or in the orthopedic treatment, 
we as doctors examine the patient to see what is the nature of the injury. So based on the swelling, their uh, site of pain, we order some investigations which may include x-rays, scan, ultrasound or an MRI too in the rare cases. So if these things are mainly done to rule out the associated bony injuries around the ankle joint because these ligaments are supporting the bones. So sometimes in a severe injury there might be associated bony injuries. So in a grade 1, this is a, a very mild ankle sprain, there might the swelling is very minimal and it might be localized to the area where the involvement of the joint. So in that case we give a simple treatment that is a compression bandage, the RICE protocol what I told, it applies to there and we give some supports. In grade 2 there is partial rupture of the ligaments. In that case we have to put some supports which, which may include an ankle binder or an ankle supports to the joint and the patient has to take some rest for at least 2 or 3 days. In a severe injury there is complete rupture of the ankle joint. In that case the ankle becomes unstable so the movement is more difficult. In that case, we may have to go for a further investigation to rule out the nature of the injury. So based on that, we may have to put a patient on a short leg boot or a short leg cast to give a complete rest to the joint. This may take around two to three weeks. So the ankle sprain is not the end of this. So after we treat, the further rehabilitation and physiotherapy is much important in the ankle sprain. So after you are getting treated, the main aim of the ankle is again to get back its stability and flexibility. The ankle is known for its stability and flexibility. So after the treatment, most of the times you will be having a stiffness in the joint. The next stage comes the physiotherapy wherein you are going to train the ligaments and the short muscles which are there around, the short tendons which are there around the ankle joint to help you in movements. So that is the second stage and the complete treatment takes around few weeks even if it is for a simple strain. So by this uh, video I think I would given a clear picture of what is ankle sprain and how do we go about it. So any ankle sprain just remember the first thing you are going to do is a RICE protocol again it is R I C E the rest, ice, the compression and the limb elevation. Wherever you are you can follow this principle and it will save a lot of uh, pain to the patient and it will give a lot of relief before they see the doctor. So I hope I have given a clear picture or I have helped you in explaining about the ankle spring. Thank you.